Do you struggle with creaky floors? Then today's video is for you. Okay, so today's video we're gonna show you, we're doing a client's job and they've got such bad creaky floors on one of the newish builds. So we're taking it all up, we're putting new boards down, we're gonna show you the whole process is from start to finish, give you the tools you need and how to do it, so you should be able to do it yourself. So don't forget to like and subscribe, click the bell so you're notified for all our latest videos, and don't forget to watch for the whole duration so you know how to do it yourself. And guys, right, so today's job is replacing the creaky floorboards here because they're knackered as you can hear. So we're gonna take all this up, we're gonna put some new floorboards down, but we're also gonna insulate the floor. So we're gonna put some RS45 sound insulation inside the joists, and then we're gonna glue on top of the joists and then put the floorboards down, glue the joints, and we'll show you the processes of all that's how it's all done. So first things first is we've got to put the carpet protector down. Um, the role of the carpet protector is to protect the carpet. Funny enough, isn't it? So we always make sure all our jobs, we protect the floor where we're going to walk through, okay? So it makes it easier. So when we're walking through the door, we don't have to worry about taking our shoes on and off. We can just get straight up with the tools, materials, crack on with the job, get it done, but then also protect the client's carpets or hard floor and either or, okay? Always make sure you protect, protect the job before you start. So we're trying to work out the meterage we need. From Wait, yeah. Could you go that way now? Yeah. Right, so all you do is measure the length. 3.5. 3.5. Times. <coughs> 2.5 and then equals that gives you the meter squared that you need for the area of the room so you transfer that take it in get the materials needed for that meterage and you're good to go allow a little bit extra five or ten percent just in case and that's it so what we're going to do <clears throat> dave's just marking around the perimeter and stuff where the joists are we are going to cut on the joists we're going to leave the carpet gripper, etc. in place because the clients just want to chuck the carpet back down after. So as you can see, there's no insulation in anything. Right, so these are the tools you're going to need. A bonza bar, just in this case because the floors were originally nailed. Some 5x50 screws, wood screws. You've got a handsaw for cutting up the RS45 insulation. Circular saw for cutting the floor around the perimeter where you're removing and for cutting the new floorboards. Multi tool just in case in the corners. And you need your impact with a PZ2 bit to screw the wood screws down. Take a measure and pencil to obviously mark it all. And a standing knife just in case. And that, with the multi tool, make sure there's a wood blade in it. Because <laughs> you're cut, you're cutting wood. Just make sure it's wood, blade, for wood. What make it there? Makita. And then a, le a level, you need a level to stretch to mark where the joists are so you know where your screen is safe. And don't forget to mark if you see any cables, pipes, etc. so you don't screw for it. And then it also pre-warns anyone else in the future, so it future proofs it not to screw there. Luckily, Interline is only around the corner, literally two seconds. So, bish, bosh, bash, back to the job, off we go. Wee.
So this is what we're using the Ega Advanced Joint and Joist Adhesive. Oh yes. Oh yes. What's oh, yes. purple? Yeah. Hmm, next level. So you always run it across the tongue across there, which is this bit. And then on the joist as well. Yeah. And on the pipes. So if you creak it in, <laughs> and then you screw the, <laughs> you screw the screws through the uh, pipes, that really holds it in place. <laughs> it helps it swell up. <laughs> 10,000 water cell water screws. <laughs> Black jack. Black jack. Is that really like normal jack? Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill, but I have a wait. Oh my god. I remember my first thing. I know. I've had many. Yeah, two of them on here. Sorry, Brass. That's it. That's it. That's it, chicken nugget. Job done. Ah. You squeeze it in nicely then. We extend that line to the pipes in a second, mate. So yeah. Screw it in there. Absolutely. Only for you. So, what you're doing is get basil, basil brush. Brush the floor. Just joist. Brush the inside. Give you a tip now. You measure from point to point. So you triple check the other end as well. So you track them. Those measurements to your board and then you can cut it off. It should fit. Oh! The part of using a bonza bar is called. Shirts and bonza bar. Because oh. these floors are all been nailed down. Use a bonza bar, which is just a little bit here. Bonza. Grab some nails and pops up. Lovely. So before you cut out the floor, I'm going to show you how to find the depth that you need required for the circular saw. So once you get your first little bit out, you can put it on the board. So you put the guard down to the floorboard and then the blade is on the joist. So you know that is the depth that you require. But we always go a little bit less than that, just in case, because as you can see over here, the pipes through here and they're cut through the joist right on the top. So if you do it exactly the same depth, sometimes you'll be wary where you're doing it. You can quite easily cut through cables or pipes. And then also here we have a gable strap coming through as well, which I'll show you. Lift that. So there you go. So you have a strap coming through as well. And as you can see, that's basically flush. And you've got a nail there sticking out, which we're going to have to try and get out. Because that's protruding higher than the bloody joist. So yes, always make sure you check your surroundings and plan it before you do it. Makata. <laughs> so you see, the boys are taken out a section at a time and then refitting it so we're not doing a bloody... Boys for men. Men, boys. Boys to men. <laughs> So they're just marking here the pipes that below so we know not to screw there and anybody that the future does any work. Peeps. Be the piper. It's just drawn in straight lines so we know exactly where the joists are. Run our screws, we get three screws per board all the way through, one either end, one in the middle. Always make sure the joists are brushed <coughs> and debris free. Oh, that's low, don't you do that? <laughs> Wasting. Just do the, uh, the end of the strap. That's it. 
Oh yeah, everyone likes to see this. You put some on a strap just in case it does creak, because this, this glue oh, yeah. basically expands and it foams out, as you can see here. So it fills up all the voids, so if it does uh, create a creaking spot there, it should take that out. So another thing, when you're doing this, so when it comes to the last board, you have here the tongue. So you need to make sure you're measuring from the groove side and back in. So then that will slot in nicely. Allow three to five mil of this, you will get it on the angle and drop it down there. He's put, he's put a level underneath so we can jack it up, cut the long leg off. So that's all the floorboards laid. As you can see, just waiting for the expanding glue to go off. So you can scrape it off, flush, tidy up, hoover up, sorted. So this is the room you've plastered, plastered and done the floor now. Right, there you go. Lovely job, Lee. Sure, this is still wet, so we can come back and scrape that off later. And that's all finished, so. Not squeaky anymore. Right, so that's that job done, completed. If this video is any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Click the bell so you're notified for all our latest videos. We have a lot of how-to videos coming up. We have some TDD project videos, so you can see the work that we are undertaking currently. And we will have a business videos coming soon and a DIY series. So make sure you're following on all our socials as well, so you're up to date with all of our latest work. Cheers, guys.